Alright, so good day. Um, so we're gonna talk about um, Harold D. Laswell's formula, no, as part of the models, communication models. So Harold D. Laswell's model is one of the shortest in communication, but also one of the broadest and most famous. No, um, uh, Laswell lived from 1902 to 1978 nasa 76 years old siya and was a political scientist who taught at University of Chicago uh, University of Chicago and Yale University and offered one of the most well-known and succinct models of communication process so in 1948 he wrote what we has been described as communication process no? in, in 1948 he wrote what has been described as perhaps the most famous single phrase in communication research according to McHale and Wendell, what is now known as the Laswell formula. So the Laswell formula is very short, no? Ito lang siya. Our conven one convenient way to describe an act of communication is to answer the following question. So, uh, according to Laswell, uh, the act of communication begins with questioning who, no? Says what, in which channel, to whom, which, wh or with what effect. No, who says what, in which channel, to whom, and with what effect. So, kung tignan natin ng maigi, talagang, ano pa rin, no? Uh, Tulmin formula, Tulmin model, palang, uh, from the rhetoric palang nila Aristotle, ito na yun, no? Kasi merong somebody who's speaking, saying something, through what, or which channel, merong audience, and then, lagi natin sabi there should be, an effect or with what effect so the formula ask who is sending the message what is the message which channel which means or through what way no is being used to deliver the message to whom is it being sent and what to whom is it being sent so see para kanino no and uh, what effect is it having on the receiver of the message so meron kasing effect to yon no merong movement merong changes kahit pa paano may nagbabago whenever we communicate so lagi nating isipin yan Dennis McQuill and Sven Wendell in their book communication models for the study of mass communication uh point out that the last phrase is Laswell's model is problematic Bakit problematic? The Lasso formula shows a typical trait of early communication model. It more or less takes for granted that the communication has some intention of influencing the receiver and hence the, that communication should be treated mainly as a persuasive process. It is also assumed that messages always have effects. Models such as these have contributed to the tendency to exaggerate the effects of especially mass communication. So, yun yung problematic. Bakit ito problematic? Kasi, paano kung, ano, parang laging sinasabi niya, na according to Laswell's model, laging persuasive process or laging merong persuasion, paano kung, ano, uh, uh, wala naman talagang gusto mangyari, di ba? Uh, it is also assumed, then, sabi, it is also assumed that the message always have effect. But, the reality no if uh, ako tatanungin niyo as a as a professor of communication i always say that every communication is uh, or aims to to affect you some somehow no it aims you to do something di ba may changes mayroong something na mababago eh no kahit sabihin natin eh, choice naman kasi yun ng receiver eh di ba pero you don't just say a word na wala lang no okay sige let's say it form it kaya kami purpose eh inform it inform it mo sa kanila and then it still they decide based on that uh, entertain them the reactions is enough to say it has an effect no what effect let's say an effect o oh, diba so, ba? so laging meron laging meron I believe that laging meron communication happens for a purpose and for a perfect or uh, for an effect no so 
the ad that like many other communication tiers last wheels model is unidirectional why it is unidirectional because um, going from someone who says something to someone who receives a message and is affected by it it didn't consider the matter of feedback from those who receive the communication so you pwede yun, no i agree with that na yun yung problem sa last wheels model kasi unidirectional kasi nga naman may feedback pero kung tira naman ng maigi um the ref- the feedback is another unidirectional uh another ano yun, formula last wheels mo- formula diba yung feedback is also yung receiver acting as the one who says what diba um from which channel or in which channel to whom with what effect so pabalik-balik lang siya pero yun nga uh, it's such that yung last one's formula is very unidirectional kasi it ends doon sa audience diba to whom and then with what effect hindi yung sinabi na bumabalik yun so that's why we believe na yun yung reason kung ba't sinasabi nila nila uh, ang pangalan ito nila McQuail and uh, Wendell yung yung concept ng kay last was formula no so uh, their critic makes two important points first by focusing on effects the last was formula assumes like I said that the purpose of communication is essentially persuasive and second it doesn't include responses to communication it is then one directional going from who is speaking to an audience and not accounting for feedback from audiences of communication the focal point model ito maganda tong focal point model so uh, a model that developed by the uh, by the author of this book no different focal point that may be investigated rather the artists and creative people the text they create the media they employ the audience they seek in the societies in which they are found it is also possible to use the model for other kinds of communications such as interpersonal communication so there so in the model uh, the the author suggests that there are five focal points that we must consider when dealing with communication process the artist or the group of artists who speaks and create the text or the content and then art which is what it's said or created which is you know yung, yung content no the creator of the the content the content the art the medium no which carries the text o saan ito uh, ipapakita no um could be a poster through art uh, sorry uh social media diba the audience members who uh, somewhat received or um consume yung content and then the society now which which society in which the text is created and transmitted mahalaga yun no ang kagandahan ng focal point is that kahit sino dun sa lima na yon can communicate directly from each other diba um we have the artwork and then to the artist then artist pwedeng artwork then a medium to the another artist diba artwork to the audience audience to the society bakit sasabing yung audience can be uh, to the society diba yung audience nakapalod siya shinier niya yun dun sa lipunang kinabibilangan niya diba uh, alam mo yun uh, nag-iipon lang naman tayo ng, ano, ng, ng ideya eh that's why um, yung napapanood natin somewhat yun din yung sabi natin yung nakita natin ng mga solutions kapag meron tayong problema na na, cons- na na select natin or na na evaluate natin as teka ito yung napanood ko ah. probably yung actions or solutions na nakita mo doon sa napanood mo yun din yung gagawin mo that's the way ha- you contribute to the society di ba halimbawa uh, you are an audience so somebody an artist created a text a content na mag mag ano ka mag uh, recycle ka no napanood mo yon you are the audience and now as the audience na napanood mo yung pagre-recycle sinishare mo na ngayon doon sa nanay mo na hindi niya naman napanood yung content ikaw na yung nagiging ano yung nagsasabi di ba so ganun kaya pwede mag-communicate yung society and the audience okay so ganun lahat sila pwedeng dumaan sa medium so focal point 
uh, kasi kahit any anyone can be a focal point any of the five the artist the art the medium the audience members and the society can be a focal point can communicate to other to other uh, parts of communication okay so if we are dealing with a conversation the artwork or text becomes what is said by someone the artist and the medium is, is speech the person who receives the message is the audience and the process takes place in some group on society in a country such as america so the audience in the model uh, can range from one individual to a small group to a huge number of people which is the cause or the, which is the case with the mass media okay so we have additional uh, things here yan sasabi ko sa inyo na the author is telling us that the artwork can communicate with the artist the artwork can communicate to the, can go to the medium the artwork can go directly to the audience the artwork can go directly to the uh, to the society no the artist and the medium artist to the audience and so on so lahat yan can can go from from one another kaya siya naging focal point okay so ano yung pinagka pareho no when 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 the author of this book developed the focal point model uh, she didn't uh, didn't realize its close relationship to the Jacobson and the Laswell's model so we can see the relationship in the chart that follows and on Laswell it tells us who says what in which channel to whom with what effect while on the Berger or the artist or the uh, the author rather or the author of this book Berger tells that the artist is the one who created the mu- uh, who created the text diba? the art form is the text or says what the medium is the channel the audience is to whom or the receiver and then the society is with what effect or impact on so in Jacobson naman we have the sender message contact contact receiver and then the context now we can say context yung society okay since the context and the society somewhat affects our uh um affects our information uh eh, paano ba yung understanding no nung message di ba yung set of yung knowledge para ano para mag uh, so all three models in varying ways cover the same things and can be used to analyze most kinds of communication that is everything from a personal conversation to a lecture a television show or a film what uh, Berger what Berger's model does is show the way different aspects of communication process are related to one another whether we are dealing with a conversation between two people or with mass media what we learn from this chart is that there are a relatively limited number of elements in the communication process what this chart does not deal with is the levels of communication which is the next subject. The topic natin is the levels of communication. So there are a number of different levels of communication such as the interpersonal, the interpersonal communication, small group, and mass communication. When we think about communication, it makes sense to keep in mind the level involved, though the theories described in this book often can be used at many levels of communication. Later chapters in this book will deal with each of these levels in more detail. So co- interpersonal communication, this is the term we use for internal dialogues that often take place in our minds as so to speak we talk to ourselves in this communication we carry on dialogues with ourselves about some matter that concerns us sometimes we even conduct imaginary conversations with others in other words we have thoughts about something and spend time talking to ourselves about it this kind of communication generally takes place in the form of thoughts in our brains Though writing journals and diaries can also be seen as a kind of interper- interpersonal communication. I have not written, the author have written more than 90 journals over the years and most of the books, including this one, came from material that the author wrote uh, on his journal. In journals, he, uh, we wrote to ourselves which can be thought as a, of us f- a form of talking to ourselves. Yeah, like the dictionary, alam mo yun, parang kinakausap mo yung sarili mo. Pag kinakausap mo yung sarili mo, ang tawag doon, intra, intra, intrapersonal communication. Alam mo yun, um, sometimes we create 
characters in our minds like we are talking to somebody di ba? pero sarili lang natin yung kausap din natin so that's interpersonal communication for our purpose interpersonal communication yan yung kasunod na level we use the term interpersonal for communication that takes place between an individual and another individual generally the communicators are acquainted as in dinner party but it can take place between strangers as for example when one gets into conversation with someone in a supermarket the medium is generally the human voice along with body language and facial expressions syempre yan yung usual nating way ng pakikipag-usap diba? though now in the internet age it can be text messages to friends or email messages or tweets to a small group of people The development of smartphones has led to changes in the way we conduct interpersonal communication with texting replacing voice communication much of the time. Texting or chatting adds a new dimension to interpersonal communication. There's an element of alienation connected to texting. Sometimes we text because we want to send a message but don't want to get involved in a conversation. Ano yun? Just to inform. Gusto mo lang magpaalam, mag akala mo yun gusto magpaalam not to magpaalam but magpaalam di ba? gusto mo lang to inform somebody that's an element of alienation um, ayaw mo lang alam mo yun just to make you know uh, about something about about my idea pero ayaw kong may pag-usap ng mahabang conversation no um, the problem also with with the uh, I think I believe no na another problem with interpersonal communication through texting or chatting is that the lack of voice, the lack of alam mo the the nonverbal elements, 'di ba? Yung alam mo yung yung ano eh, yung parang walang tono. <laughs> 'Di ba? Minsan hahaha ka nang haha hahaha ka lang haha ng chat pero hindi ka naman masaya di ba huhu ganun those text messages na akala mo alam mo yun ito yung feeling nun pero hindi naman pala akala mo okay lang di ba chat mo okay okay ka lang okay di ba pero hindi mo alam yung 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 non-verbals the silence the the nonverbals of a, of a word yun yung kulang eh doon sa interpersonal communication if you if you do interpersonal communication diba as much as possible do it personal kaya nga interpersonal kasi you want <laughs> alam mo yun you're entering somebody diba uh, ayun so in our conversation with others the one, the tone of voice the strength and nature of touch a caress or a firm grasp of someone's arm the kind of facial expressions and body language we use all of these things suggest that any given kind of communication can be used to send different messages i deal with these matters in a, in the chapter uh, chapter 9 of this book okay so um small group communication small group communication is for our purposes we will consider a small group to be a larger number of people than we find in interpersonal communication that is at least three people at least three people small group and that's typical seminar in a university could be considered a small group but the term also applies to families clubs and other groupings of people that are relatively small uh, minsan sinasabi namin yan kapag uh, more than nine uh, sorry hanggang nine numbers uh, nine people rather uh, we consider that a small group communication we can extend the term to cover course courses in large lecture halls with hundreds of students or lecture before large audiences we use the term small group to distinguish this level from mass communication and which can cover hundreds of thousands of millions of people so dito sa book na to uh, yung small group communication nila is yung uh, uh, as long na hindi to part ng mass communication as long na hindi to via TV, radio or internet they call that a uh, small group communication okay lang din naman yan um, the medium is usually the spoken word argu- uh, augmented by sound and images as for example then powerpoint and videos are used so yun yun meron dapat hall nasa grupo siya 
nasa isang lugar lang siya we call that small group communication kahit kahit hundreds hundreds ba siya, pa siya as long na nasa isang lugar lang sila we consider that small group communication and lastly is the mass communication so this kind of communication involves the use of print electronic media videos and films to reach large number of people no large number of people for located in many different places and in some cases such as super bowl broadcasts all over the world in mass communication a sender or small group of senders such as the actors and performers artists and technicians involved in making television shows and films transmit their messages via print television video audio film or other or the internet to large numbers of receivers that is audience The members of these audiences may be alone, may be lone individuals or group of people of varying sizes. Yeah, in the United States, a small number of corporations own the con- and control the mass media, but the development of the internet and social media now allow individuals and groups of people to reach large audiences. Yeah, and one problem with mass communication is that problem often interpret or r- rather mass communication is that people often interpret message incorrectly. Bakit? The Italian semiotician Umberto Eco argues that in mass communication, we often have aberrant decoding because people from different backgrounds, socioeconomic classes, and educational levels interpret message differently or in different ways. Okay, so kaya siya naging um, problem, yung, yung, yung problema, yung, yung interpretation of message naging incorrect. Bakit siya naging incorrect? Kasi somewhat, Um, sa sobrang generalist nung uh, mga sa sobrang generalist nung ng mga creators ng ng mass media message alam mo yun um, hindi mo alam eh kung para kanino ba talaga basta ang concept lang nila para sa lahat pero um, katulad ng ato nung example dito di ba yung Super Bowl uh, broadcast it is an English language paano naman yung mga hindi ano okay um, paano naman yung mga hindi nagi English paano yung iba yung language di ba um, another is that yung mga walang taong walang pakialam sa Super Bowl, di ba? So ganon. So ano nang iyare is the aberrant decoding. Um, yung yung different ng ng backgrounds. There's a difference of backgrounds. Different din yung interpretation, di ba? Other people, other audience may like it, others may not, di ba? Kasi nga even different yung kanyang background, socioeconomic classes. Diba? Wala silang pakialam sa mga bagay na hindi naman nila kayang bilhin. O sa mga wala na silang pakialam sa mga bagay na hindi naman nila kailangan. O sa mga uh, may mga tao na walang pakialam sa mga bagay na pakiramdam nila o oh, yun, walang pakinabang sa kanila. So, in the educational levels also, 'di ba? There are uh, there are alam mo, iba yung trip natin, eh. iba-iba yung trip ng tao. So, in mass communication that is the problem, yung dami iba at ibang trip ng tao creates different interpretation dun sa message. Yun. Okay? So, codes and subcodes are applied to the message in light of general framework of cultural references which constitute the receiver's patrimony of knowledge which his ideological, ethical, religious standpoints, his psychological attitudes, his states, uh, tastes, his value systems, etc. So, yun yung mga pinanggagalingan, pinaghuhugutan ng ating interpretations. So dahil sa pagkakaiba-iba ng mga bagay na 'yon, 'di ba? Patrimony of knowledge yung kanyang kaalaman, ideolohiya, mga paniniwala, mga ano yung katanggap-tanggap, alin yung pwede, alin yung hindi, religious standpoints, 'di ba? Iyan ang bawal maka maka Kristiyano, maka ewan ko, Islam, iba pang relihiyon, 'di ba? So those are important things and because they are important Uh, difference on those topics uh, results to different um, understanding or interpretation. 
so we can understand why people do not always interpret message the way the sender of the message expect them to be interpreted. Kaya magkaiba ng pagkakaintindi. For example, scriptwriters may use words people don't understand or make allusions to text that the members of the audience do not know. If a scriptwriter has a character say that something is postmodern and viewers of the show don't know what postmodern means, these viewers won't be able to understand what is going on in the story. Although Eco focus on mass media, his points can be applied to other kinds of communication. People often make errors in interpreting interpreting things se- said in conversations as well. So communication we see is a process f- fraught with dangers. Okay? And that will be all. Nah, this is the summary. I hope you learned something from today's uh, well, topic no uh, if you are new here no sa channel ko please subscribe to my channel para alam mo yun para may ma, para masaya di ba para mayroon naman akong subscribers and meron namang sense y- itong mga pinagagawa ko no um, thank you so much for listening i hope you learned something today and uh, thank you so much and have a nice day